We want to give God thanks for uh, the last episode, and then we have been seeing the characteristics of the wisdom of God. But is God not beautiful? Oh, Father, we just thank you this day. We give you all praise. Thank you for your hand, for your mercy and grace in Jesus' name. That God did not leave us, you know, uh, like uh, scattered, like, like, you know, without direction. He even told us, now, I am, I am the creator of heaven and earth. And I place you on this planet. I'm telling you, you can miss out my wisdom. Like Adam miss it. I don't want you to miss out on my wisdom. You, you remember the wisdom of serpent? <laughs> he says devilish. How the devil just messed up, you know, the mind of Eve. Try to tell her about the wisdom that's not of God. Oh my goodness, man. And he's been doing that long time ago. He has never stopped doing it. He's been doing that. That's why now you don't need to be confused. You know, the, we saw that this thing, whatever lead to confusion, he said where there is strife and where there is envy, there is confusion and every evil work. So when you hear people, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm conf you are not operating the wisdom of God. There is no confusion in the wisdom of God, but purity and peace. You just sit down on it. Oh God. Unexplainable peace. A, a kind of peace that you can't replicate. Set to down peace. I mean, you don't have the result. You don't have the manifestation. You don't have it in your hand ready, but you're so peaceful. Because you know your God cannot fail. The God who sp speak the word, he cannot disappoint. Just like Joshua and Caleb at the peace that we know, that we know, that we know, that we know, that we know. That the land that God spoke that is going to give us is ours. Regardless, despite whether the giants are there, we know they are brave. For us. What a wisdom. Peace. I mean... Jehoshaphat was walking towards some three nations who has brought swarms of armies to devour him. And Jehoshaphat was going there praising God with peace. First of all, purity, fasting, prayer. That was what they did. And then purity of... You, you, you know why our wisdom is not working today? It lacks the foundation. What's the foundation? Purity. Purity. Purity is there. That's why we need the blood of Jesus. That's why we need to walk in God's way. That's why we need to obey God. That's why we need to begin to engage the doing of righteousness. I know we have the positional righteousness. We are the righteousness of God, but we need now to now begin to use the power of the Holy Spirit to do righteousness. And you can imagine how our life will be. Now, the wisdom of God is first of all, pure, peaceable. The next one is, is gentle. Is gentle. To be gentle does not mean you're weak. To, the, to be meek does not mean to be sick. <laughs> to be meek does not mean to be weak. To be meek is to be teachable. To have the characteristics of Jesus. To be uh, uh, a follower. Your making is in following. Moses the most angry, very angry. I mean, inside Moses, light, anger, a rat. He used one single hand. It's just kind of a picture to kill a man. Yes, he's a deliverer. But look at the wisdom that Moses wants to engage. Oh, my goodness. But the Bible spoke of, speak of Moses in Numbers chapter 12 and verse 3. He said, now the man Moses was the meekest of all the known person you see on there. No, no wonder the revelation God gave Moses. It was through Moses that we knew how the world was made. Creationism. Through the Pentateuch. Through the five book of Moses. Only a meek person can sit down for God to write, to begin to dictate all those things for. In the beginning was the word. The word was, I mean, you've not eaten for 40 days and you're still writing. Writing and loving God. Why? Because you're meek. I thought we've lost meekness. You know, I love to talk about the, the book of Acts of, of the Apostles, chapter 13. We are certain prophets and, and teachers were gathered in meekness. They were not gathered there to teach each other. They were not gathered there to discuss doctrinal difference 
doctrinal issues. They were not even gathered to begin to fight over, this is my member, that's my member, this is my money, I don't believe in these, oh, you are not part of my denomination, you stole my member. You didn't stay. I know there are ethics, ministry ethics and etiquettes, but that was not the purpose of their gathering. They were gathering there in meekness to minister unto the Lord, as the, and as the minister, the Holy Ghost, Oh, the spirit of meekness itself spoke and separate Paul and Barnabas unto a great war. Now we have the book of uh, Romans written. I mean, it was there that Paul began to receive all of those Romans, Romans, Romans up through maybe Timothy, Thessalonica, and we don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews. Some say it was, uh, uh, it was uh, Apollos, Apollos, some say it was Paul. But you know one thing, if not for that meekness, are you meek? How do you know the wisdom of God? Because God can choose to speak to anybody. He can speak through a baby. He can speak through your child. He can speak to anyone. And you can only pick that wisdom up if you're meek and you're not proud. Oh, Father, we need the spirit of meekness. Please grant all of us so we, cannot, we will not miss out your wisdom, especially in these last days. Take all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. we we'll see you during the next episode, and God bless you.